Hey guys, so I just wanted to briefly outline series and parallel circuits. So a series circuit, like this one here, is when we have a battery and then some resistors or they could be light bulbs and they're all on the same loop. Compare that to a parallel circuit where we have a battery and then we've got a different loop uh, containing different resistors or light bulbs. A nice way to think about these questions is to picture an electron moving along the wire. So if we have an electron here, you can see that this electron has to pass through all the resistors along the loop. That means that the current across these resistors is going to be the same. All electrons have to pass through all of them. But the voltage drop across each resistor could be different depending on the resistance of each one. Compare that to this parallel circuit, if we imagine an electron travelling along this one here, then it's only travelling along one particular loop. So that means that the current across each one could be different and it will depend on the resistance of each resistor. But now the voltage drop across each resistor is the same. So we'll use a different formula for each circuit to get the total resistance. For a series circuit, we'll simply add up the resistance of each resistor to get the total resistance. But for a parallel circuit, we need to take the reciprocal of the resistance of each resistor, add them together, and then take that reciprocal to get the total resistance. So keep in mind those differences between parallel and series circuits as you tackle them this year. Thanks for watching.